So is it too soon for another video on magic? Y'all can go ahead and let me know in the comment section, man. But I figured since we have a CTP of Rage on her, why not make the most of it? Why not push her and see just how much we can get out of her even at level 60? So that's what we're going to be doing for this video, man. We're going to put her up against a few different bosses with the CTP of Rage and see just how high she can go. And ultimately, hopefully this will help you guys make a decision whether or not this is something you truly want to do, right? But again, I have to say, whoo, that's nice. That's, that's beautiful. Actually, that's more than nice. That was a lot of good damage there. See, if you could use, man, I keep saying it, but if you could use the 5-4 rotation every single time, you would get so much more damage. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she's baby girl is melting to 55. Pause, boys. Let's move up to 60 here because that looked way too easy. Now watch me jump up to 60 with a level 60 character and then notice that she does no damage. But 55 was looking way too easy there. So let's jump up a little bit more, man. Now ultimately, I think this is a big mistake, right? I think I should have gone up like one or two stages, definitely not five, right? Especially with a level 60 character, stage 60, against Ebony Ma, of all people. Not to say he's difficult, just to say he's annoying. And he's going to iframe a lot and cancel my skills. We're going to need a lot of luck. Not just with defense down, but also with mind control. There we go. Because we want to ideally keep him right in all of the attacks. Thank you, Scarlet. Ideally, we want to keep him in the center of the map so he has nowhere to run to. Damage is not looking as good as it was looking on 55, that's for sure. Boys, your boy done goof. But who wants to see what's possible? I want to see what's not possible. <laughs> Like, I'm looking at that fight on 55, we can just all assume that that was going to be a clear or I was going to botch the thing by dying, right? But that doesn't mean it's not possible. Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought I had him. Don't follow me, you little demon dogs. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. iframe yep called it at least he got mind control though really yo this guy's too annoying maybe i should have brought sue instead of colossus he just keeps iframing i really feel like maybe i should have brought sue instead of colossus Because even though, hold up, he's offering the defense down, more of it. It doesn't really matter if this guy is just going to consistently keep high framing and make sure that I can't do any kind of damage. Thank you. Oh, hello, Weapon X special. <laughs> wow. Okay, it was looking kind of risque, and then Weapon X came through with a two-piece and a biscuit. Okay, let, let's kill She-Hulk actually, let's kill Ghost Panther 2. That was probably not a, not a smart idea because now the next time that attack happens, we have nobody to attack to, but we don't have time to be running around, boys. We don't have time to be <laughs> running around. Come on. Bro, how many attacks do I need to get off before this Rage proc? At Geo. This Rage proc is playing games with me sometimes. Like, cheese me still. Like, we lost so much damage because the Rage proc wasn't being cooperative. Get out of that bloody eye. Yo, this guy is now hiding in an eye frame. And attacking the bloody dogs. Oh my goodness, he canceled he cancelled my fear skill. 
This guy's literally just trying to botch this whole thing right now. I hate him. I hate him so much. And then he stands still. He's mind controlled, but the rage block doesn't go off. I swear. Yo, I swear. <laughs> the most amount of annoying. Oh my goodness. Wow. I swear, when, when he decides to stand still and cooperate, the rage proc just decides it's not going to be cooperative. Woo, hello. Who's your daddy? I guess in this case, it's your mama. <laughs> oh, mama magic coming through. Yo, magic state 60. Guys, it's happening. The bar is moving. It's barely possible, but hey, man, it's, it looks possible. Oh my goodness. He canceled my, yo, I, I'm, I'm too sad. I'm too sad. Now he's going to start doing the most amount of malarkey. Okay. Cut, cut, cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it, cut it all the way out, bro. Where's this rage block though? Guys, where's this, this rage block decided to take a vacation. I can't bro. I can. We have yo. Where is it, guys? It was coming. This was it. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness! Did we accidentally clear that, boys? I don't know. Did we? Uh, woo! <laughs> boys, the entry is still there. The entry is still there. We almost botched it, but that was too close for comfort. Sorry for screaming in the mic. That was actually pretty cool, though. Anyways, what we're gonna do here is Thor in against Thanos. And what we're going to do is push her to 25. I cannot believe that Magic just pulled off a stage 60 at level 60. CTP of Rage required, but she did it. Let's see if she can step into some more level 70 content here. Because this is usually where I test my level 70 character. If she can pull this off, this is definitely good money right here. What we're going to do though is get rid of these guys because we don't really need defense down here what we need is just the um, increased damage dealt to a uh, super villain so we're gonna do that boys that was clutch Mio, i still can't believe we actually beat the stage but kept the entry like i literally seen the bar touch <laughs> zero that's actually mental okay Really? I thought I would... Uh, the high frame on 2 didn't go off fast enough. Okay. Let's go. 3, 5, 4. And we got to move around some more. Let's go. 3, 5. I don't like playing her on any stage that has the blade twister. Because the gaps in the eye... Yo, that was actually cool. How she got stuck. That was actually cool. But anyways, the gaps in the um, iframe, bad business for the blade twister. I don't think she's going to be able to do this. I think I was reaching a little bit, but that, that 60 boy, that 60, I was definitely reaching for that. I want to use the three so badly. Damn, I wanted to use them as cover. Mm, got it. Come on, magic. Here's magic. Woo! What is you saying to me, partner? We on pace for this, eh? <laughs> Yo, we actually on pace for this. Okay. Hold on. Hold the phone. What are you saying to me? You're saying that she has the damage for this, and it really just comes down to me not botching it. But you guys know I'm the legendary scrub lord, so what do you expect? <laughs> Oh man, okay. No! See? I get me botching it. Jump to me. Sucker. See, I didn't know he was actually gonna jump, but like, instinctively, I was ready to tap. <laughs> as soon as I see his body, like, come off the side of the screen there. Ooh. Jeez. 
I didn't tag fast enough. Yo, a couple of you guys been hitting me up saying I should do some um, solo gameplay with um, Ghost Panther outside of the support role. If that's something you guys actually want to see, hit me up in the comments. Let me know because he, he's actually a really, really good character. And I don't think a lot of people realize that. Like besides just um being an awesome support for basically every character, but then even better for um, fire characters, he's actually really, really good on his own. And so if you guys actually want to see some gameplay with him, let me know. I could definitely get him up to level 70, even give him a rage. Even though, frankly, I don't think he's deserving of it. Just because there's way better options for the rage. But yeah, I would definitely do that. And I would actually enjoy doing that for you guys because he's actually a dope character. Okay. Ooh, he got caught. Okay. See... Oh my goodness, Ooh. if only you could use the forward skill every rotation. I keep saying it like that long ass cooldown that they put on the skill for no reason, man. Like her damage would be so much better. Okay, let's spam the one, spam the one. Go in your next phase. Yes, we did it. <laughs> well, we didn't complete the stage yet, but we forced him to go in his next phase instead of um going up. That would have wasted a, ooh, wasted a lot of time. Oh, you know who I've been meaning to do some gameplay on that I haven't done um, gameplay on? And that's actually, well, I have done gameplay on her, but a couple of you guys been asking to see her with Rage. That's actually Rachel. I might do that next if you guys want to see it, right? But Magic is actually out here beasting, guys. Level 60, stays 25 Thanos. Not too many characters can do it. Needs Rage to do it, but she's doing it. Right? She's definitely doing it. We're gonna get this big guy down to one bar. Just for um hold up. Nice. Yeah, she's actually doing it. Okay. See? Thanos. Thanos, man. Boys. Yep, magic. Magic came through. Magic actually came through. 60 ebony 25 thanos level 60 um you know what we're gonna do a few minutes of this fight here let's see if she can do 50. i don't have any ignore dodge in the build so what we're gonna do is give her three ignore dodge strikers and see if she can do 50 here 50 isn't that impressive compared to 60 ebony and 25 thanos but still it's worth a shot I'm actually kind of shocked still. Again, I know Rage is required to do it. And yes, you have way better options. And I'm not going to stop saying that. But I'm actually like kind of shocked at how she's performed so far against woo, these other bosses. And woo, we're actually one away from dead. We got that heal though. Clutch. Clutch it. I'm going to try and see if I can get off another heal before we tag. There we go. Got that nice 6k. All right. So we're going to tag again and we good. Just going to wait it out. Teleport to me. And then I'm going to tag again. Three. Cancel. Five. Go to four. Oh, come on. If she had like um, the purifying wind effect on one of her skills or as a passive, that'd be dope. Because I find that what stops me and what's what's really limiting for me is, <laughs> well, it will happen to any character, but I'm not like ragging on her specifically. But what really sets me back a lot of times is the blade twister. I have to play a lot more cautiously when I see that one, one of the modifier is the blade twister. Also the purifying wind, like lightning that flies across the map. That's pretty deadly too, in addition to um, the Blade Twister, because your um, invincibility can be stripped away from you when that lightning hits you. And if it hits you and then you get snared, you can just get toasted just like that. Okay, let's just slam dunk. Let's go. 
we're not gonna run this whole fight because i don't want to make this a 20 minute video but man i'm glad i did this at level 60 i was not expecting her to do this well i was expecting well not here specifically but like against Thanos and ebony those were the numbers i was hoping for at 70. so it definitely tells me that she probably doesn't even need a level 70 for me but i don't know i'm gonna do it just because i'm gonna have the feathers anyways and it's not like i'm gonna get night ooh, night crawler to level 70 before i get magic to, <laughs> to level 70 you know what i'm saying it, it ain't happening chief like i love you kurt but you're pretty freaking garbage <laughs> you know what i'm saying and besides that i think i only have to finish up um storm and x23 i think they're at like 66 or something like that so i think i'm gonna finish magic up first then get those two to 70 and then after that i don't know man are we gonna wait until rogue and apocalypse get level 70 or are we gonna do nightcrawler i don't know oh wait i forgot there's kitty pride oh god <laughs> yo them two them two gonna get no love for me basically like i'm pretty sure after this update i'm done like as can be when it comes to kitty pride bro like it, it's really it's really really pathetic that oh boy no 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 that that's so nasty that mom would do there like like leadership is dope but man, man they did her so dirty and they did it ooh, ooh, my bad i thought that was magic for a sec got caught up talking i feel like they did it on purpose just so they can sell a uniform later on down the road and i actually got clapped because i wasn't paying attention so boys we're gonna wrap it up here she could definitely do that your boy was just like zoning out a little bit as you can tell man thinking about what i'm gonna do next but i'll give you all a brief look at her haven't changed the build since the last video literally the exact same setup right but man magic actually finally impressed me uniform is heroic i said i wasn't gonna get it to uh, mythic but i've been running her in missions just because i still need to get colossus uniform to mythic and after seeing this i might just get this uniform to mythic am i saying this uniform is a good uniform no i'm not gonna say it's a good uniform i'm gonna say it's an upgrade more so than i thought it was originally but ultimately i still feel like it's a lazy uniform and all they really did was copy paste and they should have done more at the very least they should have converted all of these skills to fire just like all of the other members of the phoenix five it doesn't make sense that she's a part of the phoenix five every other character has all their skills at fire and she only has one it doesn't make sense that would actually bump up her value overall quite a bit against ebony ma but it is what it is she did impressive enough so i ain't gonna complain too much about it i'm gonna leave my thoughts here boys let me know how you feel about it can't lie i'm impressed with her just a little bit i'm out man peace